Steven Caps here with TXGase.com. Another video in the series of Patriot One Basics. In the previous videos, I have covered checking your battery wires, making sure that they're tight, checking your voltage of your battery, checking your fuse, checking your reset button, and also setting your gate sensitivity and your automatic close. Okay, we have covered those in, in previous videos, so, so just search uh, Patriot Basics on our channel and you should find them. Okay, in this video I'm going to cover, it's just a little bit more advanced, but, but still pretty basic. Now, in the last video I discussed your remote control and button 2 locking open your gate. Now, whenever your gate is set to automatically close, okay, let me, let me back up. If you want to hold your gate open all day and, or, or one hour or, or, or for 30 minutes, whichever, with your gate in the closed position, hold down button number two until your gate opens. Then whenever you're ready for it to close, hold down button number two for three to five seconds and then get your timer out because if you don't wait long enough, you're going to lock open your gate again. So, if you're not for sure if it's locked open or not, you can open up your box, press the LED indicator button, and notice number 9, which is where button 2 would be holding it open. You see there, the light is on now. Push the button, and it goes off. Okay, now we're going to create a scenario that I push the button, but my gate still won't close and I press the LED indicator button and my light is still on. Okay, the next question you need to ask is do I have an exit wand? What is an exit wand? It is that probe that is next to the driveway underground that as you drive up to the gate, the gate automatically opens. So if you have an exit wand, is a possibility that your exit wand is holding your gate open. Now, this is just a make-believe scenario. I don't have an exit wand hooked up here, but this is how you would resolve that issue. Okay, what we want to do, because our number two, or our, sorry, number nine pre-exit open input light is on, so that's holding our gate open. So this terminal strip, we want to gently take it off, rock it back and forth, take a little bit off from side to side and, uh, until we can get that unplugged. Okay? Now, if we had an exit wand and we thought that the exit wand might be holding the gate open, what we would want to do is to unplug this terminal strip for five minutes. Now, if you unplug the terminal strip, your gate is going to automatically close after 30 seconds or whatever your uh, predetermined time is. Now, let's say that we waited five minutes and we plugged our terminal strip back in. If you plug it in and your gate automatically opens, then most likely you have a bad exit wand. Which, in our scenario here, you can press the LED indicator and our, and our light is off in our situation because if button two is holding it open and you unplug this terminal strip, the light will turn off. But in the event that your light is still on and you have an exit wand, then your exit wand is holding your gate open. And the only way to resolve that is a service call. That's a little bit more advanced, but we can cover that in future videos. Make sure to subscribe to my video channel, TXGase.com. Once again, Stephen Katz with TXGase.com, helping you navigate the complex world of custom gates and gate operators, all in an effort to help save you money.